of being the bad guy. This is worse than the warnings we gave you before last time. This will be worse! Please! Hi everybody, I'm Travis Carlson from the movie project Mother's Day, and I'm here with Tim Bowling today from Pompeer. So, if you don't know, Mother's Day is a feature film that is uh, kind of focused on mental illness um, based on a true story that I wrote and directed. And Compeer is joining us to uh, give some of the mental health angle. And I guess first, just what is Compeer all about? Uh, Compeer is a non-clinical mental health agency. So we match individuals in the community who have a diagnosed mental illness uh, with volunteers in the community. Uh, so they get matched one-to-one, -one, they go out to the park, they, they make a one-year commitment to each other over the course of that time. And the goal is to move that relationship into a normal friendship uh, after that year. And that happens a lot within the program. And we serve all ages. So we serve older adults, adults, children and youth, and veterans. So that's our core program. And then we also have a school-based program where we're in multiple school districts working with students who have mental health challenges. Mm -hmm. And then we're the largest provider of what's called uh, mental health first aid which is an eight hour training class uh, that people take to identify when somebody in their life is having some type of mental health uh, crisis. Wow. That all seems like it would be great in my family situation. Um, so that's, that's an excellent resource. Yeah, it really is. You know, we have a lot of interest for mental health first aid and, you know, you say for your, your family, your resource. So one in five Americans are living with some type of mental health, uh, mental illness. Um, so I think what we find a lot we're in the field, so we hear about it all the time, but I think what people find surprising is that how widespread, you know, mental illness is. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that's just people who are diagnosed. Mm -hmm. The average person will, will go about 11 years from symptoms to treatment without ever getting any help. Um, because we would never think of doing that for our physical health. No. You know, you hurt your arm, you break your arm, you go right to the doctor and you take care of it. But when you're having a mental health uh, challenges that you're going through, for many reasons, people don't get the help. Uh, that they really need. Sometimes they think that's just normal what they're going through because they know other people that are like that. And other times it's the stigma that's tied around it. That uh, once you start telling people you're you're struggling mentally, you should, a lot of folks that experience that will tell you they start losing friends, they start losing families, they start becoming isolated, they start isolating themselves and don't want to do anything and get back out in the community. And all that all that does is exasperate the problem you know, for the individual. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very widespread. There are those who are diagnosed and there's, there's a whole other group of people that aren't diagnosed. I feel like that is like the nail on the head in the situation my mom is dealing with. And in our family, <clears throat> we, we didn't really identify too much. And maybe she just didn't want to share as much with me at the time. I mean, I think she did have some um, counseling help and stuff, but it wasn't yet comfortable to talk about in the isolation and, mm -hmm. and stuff was a big deal and something that we see in the film. Um, and yeah, I mean, in the project, in, it's sort of the day that I, through a lot of conversation, we kind of like realized more was happening and it was going to take, um, extra work. So I'm kind of curious about the first aid, like what, what sort of things are covered and like maybe what could people who are watching this maybe take the first step? With? Yeah. So for the mental health first aid program, uh, you start identifying what are some mental health challenges, you know, what does depression look like? What does anxiety look like? And most of it, you're, you're not a counselor at the end of this eight hour training piece. You're, you're a caring friend who's just a lot more knowledgeable about when you're witnessing when somebody's going through a mental health crisis. You'll hear people say that you'll, you'll, you'll come across somebody having a panic attack before you ever come across somebody having a heart attack. And how do you handle that situation when somebody's going, going through that situation, uh, that, that experience that they're, that they're going through? So the, the training helps people identify you kind of, your eyes are more wide open and mm -hmm. you know what to look for. And you're really, we believe here at Comp Here, one of our themes is the, what we call the healing power of friendship. And that one person in, in somebody's life could really be life changing for them in a mental health crisis at that time. Yeah. And somebody who absolutely cares about them. So you, you learn that process in there and you're generally trying to connect individuals to other services. So we track all that afterwards when people go through the training, like have you referred somebody six months into it? Have you, how have you used the training that you've gone through? Um, um, many times folks will refer people to counseling. They'll have a conversation with somebody. Hey, look, I noticed that you're going through this. 
if you're not comfortable talking to me about it, I'm not a counselor, maybe here's a phone number, you might want to do that. So that's the beauty of the program is it's kind of the first line of, of defense for people when they're experiencing a mental health crisis to get them to the next level of getting the support that they need because that whole 11 year piece of yeah. people go years without ever getting any help. Early detention and early help is crucial to get them on the road to recovery. Mm -hmm. So how do people get involved if, if they want to be a supporter, maybe take the class or be a volunteer with what? Yeah, so they can go to our website, compeerbuffalo.org. There's all the information is up there. Uh, we do community trainings many times for mental health first aid, so they can just sign up through that. And many times it's already covered through a grant, so there's generally no cost to it. Awesome. I think a lot of people think they need to be in the mental health field to take the class. No yeah. parents take it, the adults take it, youth take it. Um, there's different trainings for different populations. Basically, if you're you know if you're working with youth or working with adults for that, uh, but it's really about creating an army of people in the community who are just more self-aware. <clears throat> um, when somebody is really having a difficult time and how do you help that person at that time. I think we've seen a lot of stuff on TV where situations have escalated that uh, even those, you know, who are supposedly you know, supposed to be trained in, in those areas are, don't always handle it as well as they could and it turns into a major catastrophe. Um, so you see that with law enforcement, we're doing some trainings with them. We do stuff with the Buffalo Public Schools. Um, so we're really kind of on the front lines of helping people identify that. But it's for the average person as well. You're, you're going to run across people all the time as well in your life. So one in five, we all have, you know, lots yeah. of friends. So, yeah. and it's probably even higher than that. Though. That's just those who are diagnosed. Right. It's interesting in the in the film because I, I feel like I probably was one of those people. And to some extent, I still am untrained and learning as more as I could go. But, um, you know, I was... I was sort of in a position where I was getting first-hand information and, and trying to help, but treating the situation the best I could. And I, it's certainly, I mean, we able, it ends on a moment of love and connection and, and my mom and I still have a strong relationship, but it's, it's, so the, the movie maybe isn't a reflection of like, this is how you should do it, but it's maybe a reflection of what it can look like. And, um, I don't know. So maybe people who see it can, I just want to make sure, like, it's just a true story. It's not trying to say, like, this is the right path. But but if you recognize elements in that um, from either side, yeah, maybe it's time to connect with something like that. Here. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I've only seen the, the trailer and the brief clip of it, and it's very powerful. We talked about it in the office already. Like, that's true, and that's really what people experience when they're going through that. Uh, so by being able to train people and identifying, you know, this is what you're going to experience when you're going through somebody who's having a mental health crisis now. Um, and be able to inter interject with that, I think, is crucial. We're thrilled that we're being able to be able to partner with you on this on this film. So uh, it means a lot to us. So thank you for that. Yeah, you're very welcome. I think it's a great relationship, and we can continue this conversation on Monday night. Um, Tim is going to be a panelist on the on Monday night at 7 p.m. We have a special screening that's more focused on mental health, and uh, so Tim and, and two other professionals from the community will be joining us, and we'll do more comprehensive talk and, and help connect people in, in a way to get better. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the little talk. Great. Thank you. Yep. See you at the movies.